Now page four. Best of Stop the Tape. Here's Graham Ledger with more on the hypocrite congressman from New York and his problem with presidential supporters. Now page four, keeping the promise to 62 million Americans, President Trump is moving forward with another campaign pledge. This one centers on the government tribunal of law enforcement, immigration enforcement, and fighting crime. President Trump's pledge to wipe out the violent from south of the border MS-13 gang is gaining traction in New York. More than three dozen suspected members of MS-13 are under arrest. What's more, of the 45 New York area gang arrests over the past month by federal agents, 39 were affiliated with MS-13. Now, remember, the ranks of MS-13 grew and flourished under the open borders policies of the 44th president, Barack Obama. Many of these MS-13 gang members were shielded by Obama's unconstitutional unilateral moves to not deport so-called dreamers. Yes, even gang members from South America are apparently dreamers too, how nice. However, at least one congressman from New York apparently does not appreciate the work being done by the Trump administration to keep the Empire State safe. In fact, Democrat Congressman Hakeem Jeffries not only has a problem with anything Trump, but he also has a problem with those 62 million Americans who voted for the president. And then, of course, we've got Barack Obama, who was elected in what many of us viewed as an incredible step in the right direction. African-Americans. Stop, stop, stop. So according to this congressman, it was a step in the right direction to elect Barack Obama based solely on the color of his skin. If that's not bigoted, I don't know what is. If that isn't a... 180 departure from the teachings of Martin Luther King Jr., I don't know what is. So this was a step in the right direction solely because Barack Obama is half black and half white. Why are we judging politicians, and in this case, a president of the United States, by the color of his skin? This is America. We are supposed to be judging people, as Martin Luther King Jr. said, by the content of our character not by our bloodline. Roll tape. Having gone from the outhouse to the White House, eight years of tremendous progress in moving Stop this thing. country. Progress in moving the country forward. Progress in moving the country forward. This is what the liberals say. This is their mantra. They never tell us where they are taking us. They never tell us about this progression exactly. They just keep heaping it on. So, for example, Obamacare is progress moving in the right direction, according to a gentleman uh, like this and Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and the rest of them. Uh, so progress is taking over one sixth of the U.S. economy, the health care system, and absolutely screwing it up. Look where we are now. And now we have the Republicans going to probably make it worse. But the bottom line is that's not progression. That is regression. It's progression toward socialism. It's progression toward Marxist teachings. But it's certainly not progressing toward liberty and freedom and the tenets of the United States Constitution and the founding documents. Roll tape. Three forward, followed by the election of Donald Trump, a man who spent five years perpetrating the racist lie that Barack Obama was not born in the United States of America. Stop it, Dave. It's not racist. It's one man's opinion. And frankly, there were millions and millions of Americans who happened to agree. Uh, with Donald Trump that maybe it should be looked into. Uh, myself, I look at it the same way we looked at uh, Senator Ted Cruz. And that is judging by the law because Senator Ted Cruz's uh, mother is an American, then necessarily Senator Ted Cruz is American. It doesn't matter where he's born on the planet. I don't want to get into this, but that's the way I look at it. Same thing with Barack Obama. Uh, yeah, maybe he was born overseas, but his mother was an American citizen End of story. If you happen to believe the statutes that exist on the books right now, roll tape. And many of us are wondering why were so many people who worship at the altar of white supremacy 
drawn to Donald Trump's campaign. So I'm saying, why were there so many radicals who supported Barack Obama? Why is that? Why did Barack Obama surround himself with so many radicals? Why were these people going to the White House? Why was the Muslim Brotherhood invited to be part, not only of the White House as visitors, but they were part of the administration? Those are questions we'd like to have. Why was the Islamic State allowed to grow under Barack Obama, the 44th president? Why did he turn his back on Iraq as the Islamic State was moving through? We could have taken those guys out. They were in open territory for much of the time as they were invading Iraq, as they were moving from east to west and then into Syria. Why did Barack Obama allow that to happen? Roll tape. What is it about this individual that so many folks dripping in hatred flocked to his candidacy? That's not to say that every American who voted for Donald Trump is a racist. Stop tape. That's exactly, Congressman. That is exactly what you are saying, and that is what you are insinuating. If you vote for Donald Trump, you are a racist. Why else would you go to the floor of the United States House of Representatives and go down this path? It's for one reason and one reason only. Roll tape. We do know that every racist in America voted for Donald Trump. Stop the tape. That there it is. Um, not only a racist, bigoted statement, but it's also very, very naive. Uh, hopefully, most Americans see through this, uh, that racism doesn't flow one way. Racism is not predicated on the color of your skin. It's predicated by what's in your heart. Just as people can love and can hate, they can choose to reject hate, they can re choose to reject being racist. Some of the racist, most racist people I've ever encountered are not white, Congressman. So who is the bigot here? Who's the racist? Who is the person spewing hate? And Congressman Jeffries, who exactly is inspiring these crazy anti-Trump, anti-Republican radicals to externalize their hatred and act out violently? Could it be you?